used to think if I couldn't find hope, I should just let it all go. I used to think if I couldn't make dreams come true, I should just let them all go. When life seems into the lesson for mid-month of August. We're picking up off of session one, lesson one. So this is considered session one, lesson two. And we're still discovering love. We're still on that subject matter of love. So what we're going to start with going forward is Matthew's 22, okay? I'm going to be reading verses 37 through 39, okay? And that's the first book of the New Testament. Okay, Matthews 22, and we're going to start with verses 37, and we're going to end at 39, okay? And it says, but last of all, he sent unto them his son, saying, they will reverence my son. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, this is the heir, come let us keep, I'm sorry, am I reading the right one? Matthew 22, oh, I'm sorry, wrong chapter. Okay, Matthew 22, 37. Jesus said unto them, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all of the law and the prophets. So I went on over to 40. Didn't mean to do that. But again, let's go back for a minute. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. The second is similar to it, to love your neighbor as yourself. Now, I posed a question um, a few weeks ago about how to love your neighbor. And if the balance was appropriate you know if you have a nasty neighbor if that's how they know love sh should you show love the same way they give it the, what you know or do you do the opposite and you exercise the things that we discussed last week which we'll get back to in just a moment now um, when it came to love it talked about the law so we know uh what some of us know that the law in terms of uh, the Bible, because we, we're starting with this book. I prefer this book because this is a global book, okay? And everyone around the world is affected by the Bible. It's not the oldest book, but I will say it's one of the greatest books ever written. So we're going to go to Exodus 20th, okay? That's the second book of the Old Testament, okay? Exodus 20. So glasses. Okay, and we're going to start with verses 3, and verse 3 says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me, okay? 4 says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth, okay? 6 says, I'm sorry, 7 says, Thou shalt not... Take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Okay? Go down to 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife nor is man servant, nor is maid servant, nor is ox, nor is ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Okay. You can reread this on your own time, but we just want to kind of dabble into the elements of what 
we refer to as love, okay? So let's flip back, because these are the commandments, okay? And these commandments represent acts. If you love God, this is what you do. When you love your parents, this is what you do. When you love your neighbor, this is what you do. This is how you act, and this is how you should think. So let's go back to 1 Corinthians 13. That's the New Testament, all the way towards the back. There's 1 and 2 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians. Okay, so 1 Corinthians 13. Okay. And this title, Love is the Greatest Gift. Again, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity. So we're going to substitute charity, the word charity with love. And have not love, I am become as a sounding brass or tinkling cymbal. So to me, you just noise it. You're just saying shit. You're just saying stuff. Okay? And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all this faith so that I can remove mountains and have not love, I am nothing. How can that be? How can it be when I'm doing all of these things, but if I don't have love, you're nothing. Okay? That's why I am urging people to dabble deep into the meaning of love because I don't believe you can live anything you can't define okay so let's take it to the board wonderful so hopefully you all can see the board clear enough where we discussed love in session one lesson one and we gave it the titles okay so we gave Gil God is love and we discussed the first and only scripture in the Bible that discusses or describe God's love is that he gave his only begotten son. There's nothing else in there that talks about God loving mankind or humanity other than he gave his only begotten son. All the other scriptures I have researched and learned through life has always been our love towards him and our love towards each other, okay? Um, I haven't even really discussed scriptures that talk about loving yourself, okay? Now, when we talk about the love of us, we titled it Lou, right? Lou, Lou. And in 1 Corinthians 13, it talked about all of these different stuff. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, that's a sacrifice. But I don't have love, it profits me nothing. It's, it, it, what's the game if you're doing all of this and you don't have love? Love, but what is love? I mean, really, what is love? And then it says, love suffers long and is kind. Love envieth not. Love bonneth not itself, is not puffed up. It don't give itself a whole lot of self-importance. That's what bonnet is really discussing. But it, it starts to detail what it's not. Okay, so we talked about the ingredients of love. Kindness, giving, caring. And then we got to a little rough spot where it talks about it envieth not. We call it jealousy, okay? And it just so happened, Lou is involved in jealousy, the love of us, okay? I got a little surprise for you in the end, okay? So it's not puffed up. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you have people that become, um, they say they love you, but they become a little condescending, like, okay, maybe they bailed you out of a situation and uh, they're helping you. You know what I'm saying? And although it's an act, it, it feels, it looked like love, but condescending attitude, puffed up attitudes don't feel like love. And that's what we discussed last week. What is the difference between your feelings and how you think? What is love? How you feel and how you think are two totally different things. It says, it does not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. You know, that kind of sounds like a friend. You know what I'm saying? If I, when your friends really love you, they're really honest with you. 
They're not going to tell you what you want to hear, right? They're going to give you the truth, what you need to hear. Why would they do that? Because they love you. Well, what do you mean that you love me, okay? So charity or love never fail it, but whether there be prophecies, they will fail. Whether there be knowledge, it will vanish away. So we know that it's a season for everything. Everything will pass, but it's something about love that will not perish, okay? Um, it talks about we know in part, we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away with. So, you know, when perfection comes, because the next verse gets really interesting, okay? It starts to talk about maturity. When your mind is different, when your mind is growing up, okay, you begin to take a different approach to life and humanity than you did when you were immature. Okay, so um, I want to share this one scripture with you regarding love, and it's coming out of John 15. Okay, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Okay. John 15. I want you to hear this one thing before we actually sum this up. And it's verse 13. Now this is Jesus speaking. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. So to Jesus, Yeshua, whatever you refer to him as, Rabbi, for him, he said the greatest love of all is when people lay down their life for their friends. Now, what, what does that mean, laying down your life for your friends? Because to me, that is that is definitely an act of love. When you're showing kindness, that's an act of love. But let me tell you, people can be kind to you and be thinking about how to get rid of you at the same time. Okay? So, that can't be love. Okay, somebody can give you a gift, right? But behind that gift, there's a motive. So, kindness and giveness can't be love, right? Somebody can be caring, okay? You sick in the hospital or you bed rest and they giving you soup. They caring for you, but it's arsenic in the soup. It's an act. But is it love? And we don't even have to talk about jealousy. That's a whole other subject. Okay? Then Jesus said, the greatest love is when somebody lay down their life for you. Okay? And in my aspect, Jesus was willing to lay down his life for his friends, not for everybody. God gave him to the world. And when I say lay down your life for a friend, that don't necessarily mean at gunpoint. I've heard stories where people went and took charges for friends. They went to jail for them. That's laying down your life for a friend. Okay? I've heard people who, you know, out of reflex, just jumped in the middle of a shooting for a sibling. You know, just not acting, just because of whatever that is, that connection, they lay down their life for their friend. So, my question to you again for session one, lesson two, what is love? Define it for yourself. Because even in Exodus 20, where it gives the law, which is telling you how to think, then you have 1 Corinthians that's giving you all these acts. It still did not tell you exactly what it is which I can appreciate because at least at that point you are defining it for yourself and guess what's next? You're going to measure yourself first. And I'm going to leave it on that note until next week. Thank you so much for tuning into the Soul Station here with the Spiritual B. I can't wait to bring you another one. Till then, one love, happiness, and peace.
right, y'all. Welcome to the Soul Station here with the Spirit of B. Hope you're doing swell. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're ready for this mid-August report, okay? Because we can ready to go ahead and get started with this bronze status read, okay? Um, I'm a little over the place right now because uh, this is a new adaptation for me, okay? My baby's growing, so I'm adjusting still. Um, but I got to keep it moving, okay? So we are doing a couple of reports a month right now along with your lesson plan for uh, those bi-weekly readings. So hopefully you had a chance to check that out. Hopefully you've already thumbs up this video. Remember to do that to support, support, support. And let's get it bumping. So what's happening with you going forward mid-month of August? The central issue is coming from the Ace of Wands. All right. That's the central issue here. And let's see what's going on underneath that. The Six of Swords. Okay. The Six of Blades. So let's see the energies or events surrounding um, your expected. This is excitement. Okay. This is agreement. Okay. We all in it together. Okay. I don't know if this is your friends. I don't know if this is your bestie and somebody else. I don't know if you are at a restaurant. Okay, overall this fell out. We got the Ten of Cups here. Okay. Uh, this could be siblings as well. Whatever it is, it's a threesome. You know. It could be you, mama, and your sister. Who knows? Okay. And it's all based on the um, credits card. Okay. It's the credits card. And it's Coming out of the Ace of Pentacles, good energy, and we have the Hermit as the outcome here, and underlining that is the Page of Swords. So this is some background check, you know, this is a little bit of spying, consistently spying, always looking out, constantly looking at that cell phone, check, just look at, just wait, watching the, you know, on, on watch. I don't know if that's your job, but sometimes to me, this, 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 I don't get a good feeling behind the page of swords, okay? Uh, but this is on watch, constantly watching, constantly keeping check, okay? And then under here, you have trying to move away from situations that it may not be, that, you know, there's a mental burden on you. And sometimes you have to like, kind of make up your mind, you know, when you, if you want to move forward. You know, whether it's temporarily or you're trying to make up your mind. Um, if it's permanent, a permanent move, you know, it's a mental and spiritual move. It has a lot to do with your well-being. You know, moving towards um, greener pastures, you know, moving, you know, some of you more toward like an, more of a, like a, a ancestral place, you know, like um, a city or state you may consider uh, sacral. Okay, Centaurs and Mad Child, I'm sorry about that, disconnect. Um, so we're talking about you moving. Um, some of you, this could definitely be a trip, I'm saying a trip to Cairo, to Egypt. But it's got something to do with feeling spiritually led your spirit guides are leading you there wherever it is it has uh, it has historical significance that's what I'm trying to say it has historical significance and here is the community right here for some of you yeah, I don't know if uh, this is where you live now or where you're going to. Some of you, this, this is definitely a happy community, okay? It has a lot of promise here, whatever this is, this mid-month, okay? 
okay and I see is coming out of uh, maybe you got uh, some extra money maybe a bonus came in maybe you worked overtime and your your pay is you know a lot more than normal um, uh, but it's definitely a boost here okay this is a boost or this is some plans that you have hey I told you some of you really taking a journey in your in, within this is some type of it's about getting away for a while um, It's about getting to know yourself, getting familiar with yourself, or getting to know where you came from. And this is a plan. You know, this could be travel plans. You know, your itinerary is major. You got your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, everything you're going to do, everything that you'll need for the trip, you know. I'm also hearing study, so you know you definitely don't want to go anywhere without, without knowing something about the place that you're going to. Yeah, some of you, this is definitely coming out. It's, it's, it's a sad breakup, some of you. It's time to go, but like some of you, you're on the search for yourself. To find yourself, to know you, your you know, the great mother, your spirit guides, are the, the great mother is calling you, the spirit guides are leading you there, and the great father will be meeting you, you know? Because wherever you're going, it's going to be some lead. I get ready to say that. It's getting ready to be a lesson. Something you need to learn that you can only get where you're going. I don't know where it is. I don't know if it's another country, another city, another state. I don't know. But it has um, a lot of historical and or ancestral significance you being led there by your spirit guys there's something to learn and you're excited about this plan you may not even realize that that's why you're being led there some of you this is an approval okay you're moving to uh, another community or for this community, maybe this is a work approval. Some of you, it's got a lot to do with your application and resume, like where you've been, you know, um, your credentials. Um, It's really about all of those added pieces that you have to yourself, like your your talents and your skills. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, I don't know if you type or whatever you're able to. You know, uh, what it's a it's your cover letter, whatever that is. It's 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 to me it's the basis for this approval. But some of you going home. Some of you going home. And I don't know if somebody knows that or where that they check in, you know, or you just. This may have to do with passports. Okay. Yeah, some of you, this is your passport. Yeah, all right now. I'm loving that. Okay. Yeah. Because this is the master teacher right here. And he's waiting on you. So some of you may be studying abroad. I see you being led there to go study abroad. Some of you are being studying abroad. Being led to study abroad. Some of you, you are definitely in film. So you never know who's watching you. So you may be expanding or pursuing your um, acting career. Or maybe you into film, producing film. I see that you're traveling for that. But for a lot of you, this is study and research. This is education. Whether you're going to be doing this on your own. Because this is also... Uh, this is a guide because you cannot go into them 
those esophagus and those tombs and all this stuff without somebody who has had a foreknowledge, you know, you don't know it's dangerous going into those um into those pyramids and caves and different things like that. Wow, this is so interesting. So congratulations on that. Whomever this is referring to. Yeah, I see some of you excited about learning, you know, joining this community. So for some of you, this is definitely uh, an approval for a, a school. You did your research. You, you searched the schools that you wanted to go to. You, you, you've been approved and you got the money. You got the lending. Because you, you, you you're really trying to find yourself on this journey. I don't know what this study is about. Or you will be finding yourself on this journey personal journey some of you this was based on something you saw on television okay it has a lot to do with what you saw on tv that could be online an app an actual tv show i don't know it could be something on film i don't know but you and your friends are talking about it For some of you, you feel really good about it. You feel like it could bring your family together, whatever it is that you're doing. Because I'm seeing open arms here. Um, being, you know, very open and receptive like a child. You know, I, children don't see enemies. They don't see that, you know. But I feel like you, 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 you learned this from film, maybe even a book. I'm hearing a journal. Let's get the reasons for this um, Ace of Pentacles and the journey to the self, the credits are. Like you want to, some of you want to be like, like tutelage. I'm hearing like you want to learn from the best. Leave me to learn from the best. and the Queen of Pentacles. The reason for this Ace of Pentacles it's like your heart you know how you, you, you feel like you, your heart is being stirred. A lot of people say that it's the Holy Spirit you know the source you know it's, it's something that's stirred your heart. You know how sometimes you, you may look on TV and you see like uh Feed the hungry or the Saint Jude children, and it does something to you. You know, it just welled your heart out. Some of you, you want to go to the well. You feel really good and really deep about. You, this is film. Or maybe you want to do something online. You feel really deep about something. Now, some of you, this is dealing with like gossip. Definitely got to do with uh, 
for y'all. It's got something to do with some feelings for this woman, this queen of pentacles. This is who I consider mommy. Or this could be like a manager. Somebody who can manage things. And this is feeling really good and feeling um, I'm falling in, really having some really deep, maybe even on. Maybe even love for this Queen of Pentacles. This is sometimes can be like a, a lot of times I see her as a stay home mom. Somebody really, there's affection here for this person, or they feel some really deep feelings. Because this person is responsible, they manage well. But this is also showing me about going away to a foreign land or an island or. traveling here but you're going to have to do the homework you're going to have to do the research for some of you you may be meeting your meeting this teacher because some, for some of you this is a teacher like I said some of you going out of the country like study abroad or something to that effect let's Go ahead and sum it up with the reference word. What is this in reference to source? Break it down. What is this in reference? Sum it up with the reference word. Because I'm like, some of you, you have to go. You're being called to do this. Oh, you got play and open. Play. On the line in that is open. Let me see what's going on underneath. Soul and cat. Soul, cat. Cat to me is feminine. It's, it's so independent. So cat. Play. That's in here. Play. And open. Did I say something about being very open to children? There it is. There it is. Oh, wow, I cannot fabricate these things, okay? About being childlike, being playful, being open. Maybe this is a child with children involved. Maybe you're doing primary school or something. And then it could be dealing with your friends, you know. I don't know, but you will if it pertains to you. Please do not forget to support the station. Thank you very much. See what's going on for sometimes a man child, but this is a trip. Mid August report. Oh, you got this ain't that. <laughs> Maybe it's about that soul cat. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, and it there was nothing for you underneath there. It's something you may be looking at or pondering. I don't know, but I'm going to leave it here. Sitars and man child until the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in to Soul Station. Here.
here with the spiritual bee. I cannot wait to bring you another one. Till then, do whatever it takes to make you happy. Until next time, hotel. I should just let it all go.